Now here's the best part. Look at what happened to the. Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Testosterone levels have been dropping like flies over the last generations. And the primary reason is nutrient deficiencies. A lot of you guys eat like absolute trash. As you can see from this chart here, up to 99% of people are deficient in at least one crucial micronutrient, which is needed to produce testosterone. And one crucial mineral in particular is boron. And as you can see here, 95% or more of people are not getting enough boron in their diet. That is insane given that boron is involved in so many crucial cellular processes across the human body. And as a result, a lot of men suffer from low testosterone or high sex hormone binding globulin, high SHPG, which lowers your free testosterone and gives you the five most common symptoms of low testosterone, which is difficulty putting on muscle mass, difficulty increasing your strength in the gym, excess body fat around the midsection, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, low confidence, and obviously being tired and fatigued all the time, even after getting a decent amount of sleep. And another reason why men struggle to boost their testosterone levels is because even when they try, they are bombarded with misinformation. You have the medical industry, Big Pharma, trying to put you on TRT and lying to you and telling you that age lowers testosterone, which has been debunked so many times, telling you that it's a natural process and so that you can pretty much cash in your natty card and rent your masculinity from them. Keep in mind, it's a $2 billion industry for a reason. They have to find a way to make money. You have politicians shaming you for wanting higher testosterone levels, trying to make you easier to control, weaker, you have supplement companies lying to you constantly and flashing a bunch of crappy ass products that have been debunked over and over again, as well as dishonorable fitness influencers who take advantage of your ignorance and naivety to get richer and richer. And you also have your own laziness to blame, right? All of these things contribute to your low testosterone today. And remember guys, boosting testosterone is not hard at all. Naturally, that is. Five main things you need to focus on. Fixing your vitamin and mineral deficiencies as well as your antioxidants. Eating fatty animals, so fatty meats, red meat, especially eggs, fatty fish, right? Increasing blood flow through exercise, walking, resistance training, fixing insulin resistance, right? Lowering inflammation, right? So fixing your immune system and avoiding things that create an overactive immune system and obviously reducing stress and oxidative stress. That's it. Anything that, do that does those things will keep your testosterone levels elevated naturally. But the fitness industry, most of the fitness industry doesn't want you to know this, right? Because they want you to keep buying the supplements or they want you to keep watching the shitty videos full of misinformation. Meanwhile, all you have to do are just those five basic things, which is obviously going to increase your testosterone, increase your free testosterone, and give you all the benefits and all the advantages of high T. Faster muscle growth, more strength, faster fat loss, more motivation and desire to conquer, a ton of energy. Pretty much giving you a mindset that only has one thing in mind, which is, should I conquer my goals or should I conquer my goals? There's no alternative. When your T levels are high, you don't make excuses. The only thing you think about is accomplishing your goal, competing, leveling up in life. All right, so before we look at this boron study, let's make sure that it passes the Team 3D Alpha bullshit test. And guys, you should apply this test, this five-point test, to every piece of information that you hear. And the Team 3D Alpha bullshit test is simply five things, the five criteria that any method, any piece of information out there has to have before I implement it or recommend it to my clients. Number one, does it have a ton, not one or two, a ton of scientific evidence? Several studies. The bare minimum is about three to five. That's the bare minimum. Not just one random study pulled out of your ass. No, I need to have a lot of evidence behind the method. Number two. It has to be something that I have a ton of experience with personally and with my clients over the last 10 years. So not only it has to work in the research world, but it also has to work empirically. Number three, it has to work fast. Guys, I love things that work fast. You want to know why? Because if something takes too long to work, there are too many co-founding factors. By the time you see results or don't see results, you won't know if it's because of the supplement or factor or method that you use or if it's because it's something else you did during that time. So I like things that work fast because then it's easy to know if you've been lied to, if it's bullshit, or if it works for real, right? I don't want something that takes years or several months to see results because then you're wasting your money and you won't even know if you're on the right path or not until months later. Number four, it has to work significantly. Nobody wants a 5% increase. I, want, I need to see big increases, whether it's testosterone, muscle mass, fat loss, doesn't matter. I like methods that give you big results. 
using the Pareto principle. This way you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. And last but not least, it has to be simple. I need simple solutions, right? If a caveman couldn't do it back in the days, then I become skeptical, right? A lot of people like to confuse you guys by giving you these complex, complicated, no, no. It has to be simple, practical, sustainable. If something meets all five of these criteria, boom. I recommend it to everybody. I apply it to my own life and I receive it to my clients. All right, so let's take a look at this Broan study. I'm going to show you guys the study, what they found, and how you could apply it to your own life. All right, so the goal of the study was to simply see the effects of boron, which is a natural mineral found in mainly fruits and nuts, on testosterone levels. So the researchers took a small group of men, and first they measured their hormones and blood markers and testosterone, DHT, a whole bunch of stuff, when they had a very, very low boron status, and then they measured it again after seven days of daily boron supplementation. And the first thing that the researchers found was, sure enough, the boron was absorbed very well by the body. As you can see here, the difference in boron levels between day one and day seven through the roof. The average person is down here, by the way. That's how much boron is in the average person's blood. And after just seven days of daily boron, about 10 milligrams a day, which I'm gonna show you guys how you could get from Whole Foods, that plasma boron skyrocketed. Now here's the best part. Look at what happened to the free testosterone levels on day one compared to day seven. In just seven days, in just one week, their free testosterone levels, which once again is significantly more important than total testosterone, skyrocketed, which further proves why most people are walking around with low total testosterone or low free testosterone. Because once again, most people don't get enough boron in their diet, mainly from whole foods. And it gets even crazier. Here's another thing they found. And if you want, I could make more videos on this. But look at what boron did to the estrogen levels, specifically estradiol, the most powerful estrogen, and the inflammation. Inflammation got crushed by as much as 45% if you use CRP as a gauge. Estradiol got destroyed by 39%. Free testosterone shot up. Total testosterone didn't move much, but that's fine because free testosterone is the most important factor anyway. Combined with androgen receptors, of course, but again, it's a topic for a different video. And as you can see here, their free testosterone to E2, which is estradiol, once again, the most powerful estrogen, went up 116% which is astounding from just one micronutrient, just one mineral that should be in your diet every day from whole foods. Even the DHT levels went up a little bit, which is obviously the most powerful testosterone, the most powerful androgen. And remember, this is from just one mineral, which once again, 95% of you guys are deficient in. It's no surprise that countries that eat a lot of fruits and nuts have higher testosterone levels on average. And keep in mind, boron is just one piece of the puzzle. And it has so many other effects on the body other than just boosting testosterone and manipulating your hormones. It, ha it has effects on cognitive function, again, estrogen, bone density, reducing oxidative stress, lowering inflammation, DNA methylation, protein synthesis, blood flow, insulin resistance, you name it. So many powerful effects that boron has. It even helps you absorb and retain magnesium, vitamin D, and so many other things. Which is why I always tell you guys year after year after year, fix your diet fix your diet, stop chasing supplements, stop chasing complicated methods when you're not even doing the basics. Now, here's what you should do. Number one, as I always say, don't be this guy, right? Because we already know what he's going to do. After watching this video, he's going to buy a ton of Broan supplements instead of buying more fruits and nuts, which should already be in your diet if you watch my videos. Next, after watching this video, this guy's going to get over 90% of his Broan from, you guessed it, from supplements. Meanwhile, this guy's gonna get over 90% of his boron from Whole Foods, just like our ancestors did, and just as you should. And number three, this guy's gonna make a ton of excuses as to why he can't afford healthy foods. Oh, Megan, you know, I'm gonna book inflation, inflation. Even though he has money to waste on video games and a bunch of other BS, right? Meanwhile, this guy's gonna figure out ways to budget better so that he can afford healthy Whole Foods, right? Get your boron mainly from fruits and nuts. That's where the human body has evolved to get most of our boron from. And guys, the reason why I bash supplements so much, right? Remember, supplements are not evil. It's just you guys abuse supplements. But here are the five reasons why I discourage you guys from getting the majority of stuff from supplements instead of whole foods. Number one, you never know what's inside of a supplement, right? You never know. Companies lie to you all the time. I warned you guys years ago before Ecdesterone and Turkisterone went viral, a lot of you fuckers didn't believe me. And sure enough, you got scammed. Just like I warned in my videos 
almost three years ago. You never know what's inside of a bottle. You could blindly be taking a supplement thinking it has the nutrient X, Y, Z when it doesn't. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of you guys are deficient because you rely on supplements so much that it's impossible to tell if you're even getting what you're supplementing with. Number two, even if the supplement you buy has what it claims that it has, it's impossible for you to really know the dose. Companies lie on the dose all the time. They might tell you, oh, look, it has 100 milligrams of XYZ when it really has 10. So you got to get over that hurdle. Number three, a lot of supplements come with toxic metals, toxic ingredients that actually hurt your testosterone levels more than a supplement that's supposed to actually be in it, more than the active ingredient for which you took the supplement in the first place. Number four, it is very easy to overdose with supplements, but it is very hard to overdose with real foods, right? A lot of you guys are overdosing on supplements, which causes other vitamin and mineral deficiencies. And number four, the reason why I want you guys to get 95% plus, if not 100% if possible, of your stuff from Whole Foods is because when you buy Whole Foods, you're also getting other micronutrients in addition to the one that you're eating the food for. So for example, if you eating dried raisins, if you're eating avocados, if you're eating nuts, not only are you getting boron, but you're also getting potassium, you're also getting some magnesium, you're also getting the other nutrients that are in that food. Whereas if you just buy, let's say, one zinc supplement or one boron supplement, you're only getting boron at best. So it's not efficient. But anyway, quick summary, this study wanted to investigate the effect of boron on testosterone levels. And after just seven days of supplementation, free testosterone went through the roof. Meanwhile, estrogen and a bunch of other inflammatory markers went down. And the best sources of boron are fruits and nuts. All right, guys, go ahead and boost the algorithm. Help the video get as many views and likes as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss out future videos because I get shadow banned all the goddamn time. And join the Reddit and the Discord community where we interact and ask questions and help each other out, all right? If you have any video requests, put that in the Discord, not the Reddit, in the Discord. There's a specific channel for video requests. And also comment below. Comment some random BS just to boost the algorithm. In fact, no, don't comment random BS. I actually have a question. Let me know prior to watching this video how much fruits and nuts or how much boron do you think you got from your diet on average, right? How much dry raisins do you eat on average? How many... Uh, plums, avocados, yes, avocados are fruit, um, nuts, almonds, whatever. Comment below and let me know how high your average boron intake is. All right, I'm out of here. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workouts, splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. Alright guys, I'm out of here.